Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we're finally decorating the entire house for the holidays. I can't wait to give every single room a little Christmas makeover. This is the second year we've been in this house so it's really starting to feel like home. We have so many more rooms done and decorated so I can't wait to just bring it all together with Christmas decor. I've been shopping around the last few weeks collecting some new pieces that I wanna add into the decor but I'm also using all of the same stuff as last year so it's just gonna add to it. This year we're doing the main floor and the upstairs so we can kind of bring the decorating into the bedrooms as well. So I hope this video gives you some ideas that you can use in your home this holiday season. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Brooke Linen for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and start decorating. I like to start my Christmas decorating by putting up the Christmas tree and my large main Christmas tree goes here in this corner by the fireplace. We have sloped ceilings in here so this is where the most amount of height is and I like that you can see it from all angles so it's really pretty. This is my flocked nine foot pre-lit Christmas tree. I picked it up last year and I just love it. I love the flocked look because it softens the green so it kind of gives off a little bit more of that sage green color that I work with a lot in my home so I think it's perfect. My favorite part is is that it's so easy to set up. It comes in four parts and all connects from the middle stem so as soon as you snap in the next piece it lights up right away. You don't have to plug in individual pieces so it makes it very easy and just a little bit more enjoyable to decorate. I know a lot of people have said they wouldn't get a flocked tree because it's messy, but this is the extent of the mess after you set it up and it's really easy to just vacuum up. So I think it's perfect, especially if you have lighter furniture in your home, a lighter color palette, the flocked tree is actually really whimsical and I love that this tree actually flickers. I'm using the same large tree skirt I used last year. It's really soft, but if you don't have a tree skirt, you can actually just use a little throw blanket and wrap it around your tree. I usually find my cats just sleeping on the tree skirt. They're not the type of cats that climb the tree, so I'm pretty lucky that they don't ruin any of my decor. To fill in these gaps, I'm just using these little picks and sprays. I've had these berry ones for probably five years and I really love the deep burgundy this year. So I'm bringing it back to the tree this year and adding in these new pearl twigs. So I always recommend using picks and sprays in your Christmas tree. It's just a way to add a little bit more style and you can get flowers, stems, you can get metallic colors. You can really add a lot to your Christmas tree just with these little stems. So I love that these add that nice wintry touch and then the berries bring in a lot of contrast, which I'm really loving this year. I like to add in color with my ornaments and I customize these colors to match with my home perfectly because I like to have a really cohesive Christmas color palette. So if you can't find ornaments you like that match your home, you can actually make them yourself. I just got clear ornament balls from Michaels and just put in some acrylic paint. So I went to the paint section, found colors that would work with my home. You put it inside, whirl it around and you have the perfect little tree ornament. So these lasted till this year as well so I can hang them again. I love the color palette and it really just adds this custom look to the tree. And then to switch up the shape a little bit, I'm hanging these little snowflakes. I think I found these at the dollar store as well a few years ago, but they blend into the Christmas tree a little bit. So I just hang them right on the edge so you can see them a little bit more. Now there are so many ways to hang ribbon on your Christmas tree, but I'm doing the same thing I did last year. We're adding a little bit of color and a casual style by just tying a little knot on the stem and the ribbon just hangs really nicely. You can get ribbon in all different sizes and colors and textures and even patterns. So you can add a lot to your Christmas tree just by tying little pieces of ribbon all around your tree.
I always do something different every year for the top of the Christmas tree, and this year I'm hanging this paper star I got at Ikea. These come in all different sizes and colors, but I really like the dark green with the floral print on this, and it's such a large size that works perfect for this Christmas tree. We don't usually have Christmas presents under the tree until later into December, so just to add a little happy touch, I'm wrapping some empty boxes with some pretty ribbon and pretty wrapping paper that matches all of the decor. It just adds this nice finishing touch to the Christmas tree. Now, since my staircase is in the center of my home and you can see it from everywhere, I'm tying together the entire look with some flocked garland up the staircase. I got three pieces of garland, hooked them together, and hung them with some little 3M hooks right on the edge. So once you fluff it out, it looks really full and it really just ties together the entire space. Now onto the bedroom. I wanna be able to open my eyes and feel like it's Christmas. So I'm bringing some of the decorative touches that we're doing downstairs into this room as well. So it just feels Christmassy in here. First thing I'm gonna do is actually change up the bedding. I wanna make it warmer, add a little bit more texture, switch up the color and just make it feel like a different bed. So I got new bedding from Brooklinen. I always use Brooklinen bedding. The bedding that's on my bed right now is actually from Brooklinen as well. I've been using their bedding for like three years now. So thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Brooklinen was founded on the idea that everyone deserves good quality, simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup. And high quality bedding can be very, very expensive. So Brooklinen gives you the quality and the comfort at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. Brooklinen is having their Black Friday sale right now. So all Brooklinen products are 25% off up until the end of the month. They've never done this sale before. This is their biggest sale ever. So now is the time to try out any Brooklinen products you've been wanting to try or stock up on your favorites, all you need to do is click the link down below my description box to have the discount code automatically applied at checkout. So I got the linen hardcore bundle this time. I've never got their linen collection before, but wow, it is stunning. I love that you can easily just shop the linen hardcore bundle from the comfort of your own home. You can mix and match over 20 different colors and patterns for the linen core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and duvet cover. I decided to do two pillow shams and the duvet cover in this khaki chambray color. These are 100% linen made in Portugal. The linen is their lightest, most breathable fabric option, which I really like. It's light yet cozy, and it's perfect for warm days and cool nights. And then for my sheet set, I decided to do cream, which is actually very creamy. You can see the difference between the white and the cream there. So Brooklinen sheets have always been my go-to sheets. I've used them in pretty much every room. I absolutely love them, and I could not recommend them more. Now that my bed is refreshed, I'm adding in some decorative cushions just to finish off the bed and make it look a little bit more festive in here. So I'm covering my existing pillows that I always have on my bed with these Christmas cushion covers. These have some gray, some sage, and I like that they're just a crisp white so they stand out on the beige bedding. And they're just really easy to put on and easy to remove. So they really make for easy decorating and they add that nice Christmas touch to the bed. Holiday decorating doesn't always have to be about adding in holiday patterns and colors. You can add that cozy look to your home with just heavy textures and big knit throw blankets like this. Laying them across the bed just gives that cozy look. Now onto decorating these mirrors. This is such an easy, affordable decorating trick that you can do in your home to mirrors or wall art. I'm gonna be wrapping them just like I would a present with some ribbon. So I'm doing one piece across the top and one piece running the opposite way, taping it on the back and you have an instant decor piece. I think this is so easy to do and you can do it without the little bow or you can add the bow on and you can really match your ribbon to your color palette so you can totally customize this to your home. I love that this is using existing pieces around your home but just adding in that nice Christmas touch without buying anything new. I love the way this looks and it totally frames out the bedroom and makes it feel like Christmas in here.
I would say tiny Christmas trees and ribbon are my main decor piece this year. They're so easy to add into your existing pieces. You can even wrap your books just like this and create the look of little presents around your home. Now moving on to the second Christmas tree. This is one that you see pretty much right when you walk through the house. It's in our TV media room. It's the first Christmas tree I ever bought. It's six feet tall, it's pretty small, and it's pre-lit as well. So I decorate this one pretty much the same way with all the extra ornaments from the first Christmas tree, and it just helps tie together the entire house and just add a little happy touch in every single room. And lastly, I'm adding my little scentsicles. I forgot about these, but usually I add these in first. These add that Christmas tree scent to your fake Christmas tree, and it really helps make your entire home smell like Christmas. So these just hang right inside your tree. You can hide them in there. I put them on both trees so that the entire house smells like Christmas. I'm gonna decorate the mantle and this little shelving unit so that it all feels and looks like Christmas and it's all very cohesive. So first let's start out with this little basket down here. I'm putting in a cozy blanket and layering in some of these birch logs. I found these groups of logs at Michael's. They were on sale, they look super cute. They also have them in a sparkly version as well. So they just add that nice cozy touch right by the fireplace. Now every year I try something new for the mantle. So this year I'm doing some eucalyptus garland all across the mantle. And eucalyptus works really well in my home because it's a muted green. It's not too vibrant, so it works really well with the flocked Christmas tree and all of the other sage green colors around the house. I have multiple pieces of these, so I'm just layering them together, tying them together to make it look a little bit fuller and thicker. I like that you can make this garland look wintry and perfect for the holiday season, but it's also something that you can lay across your table in the summer and you still get that nice green look. So it's something that you can have pretty much all year round and use for different purposes. And on top, I'm just hanging my stockings. These are just neutral, fuzzy, faux fur stockings. They match my tree skirt. They're really minimal and I've had them forever. So I just use them every single year and I'm styling the top of my mantle with just some neutral reindeer. Now onto the main living room. I usually just add in some small Christmas touches on the surfaces. So on the coffee table, I'm bringing in this large vase with flocked stems and berries, again, to tie together the Christmas tree with all the rest of the rooms and bringing in my favorite scented candle, Christmas tree scent. Any Christmas tree scented candle is my favorite. It just looks pretty, it smells incredible, and it makes the house feel so cozy. So this is always a must have piece. And I'm switching out my styled books with a Christmas book, again, just to add that similar touch and style that I normally have, but in a little bit more of a Christmassy way. If you have any bowls or trays in your home, you can just fill them with your extra ornaments and it again just adds that extra touch of Christmas in your home and it helps tie together your ornaments on your tree with the rest of your space. So this is a great way to kind of integrate the similar pieces and similar color palette throughout the rest of the house. I 
I just recently moved our piano into the living room here. It used to be where the Christmas tree was, but I love the way it looks and feels in the living room. It just is so much cozier, so I think it might stay here. I'm finishing it off with a little music sheet that's framed. I found this at Michael's as well. Such a cute little touch that you can add to any piano and this little touch of greenery just to finish it off. Now onto the dining area. I'm just gonna be adding some small touches just to bring it all together. With this existing vase, I'm putting in some fall stems as well as winter stems because I love that mix together of the colors. Bringing in this little burgundy potted plant and a little battery powered candle. I love creating little groups of three. They create really nice moments and vignettes in any space. So always think in little groups of three and your decor will look incredible. Now onto the mirrors. Again, I'm making the mirrors look like presents. So I'm wrapping them in ribbon, just like we did upstairs, but in a little bit of a different style because these mirrors are a little bit busier. So I'm using that deep red to wrap these up, tie a little bow and make them look like little Christmas presents. I think it creates such a nice moment in this dining area that doesn't have a ton of stuff in it. And it really brings in this wow factor that feels like Christmas. Now, of course, we need to decorate the entryway a little bit so it feels like Christmas right when you walk through the door. I'm decorating this console table as well as the front door just to tie it all together. So this is a wreath I had from last year. I hung it right up and there's also some twinkle lights from last year woven into those still and the battery still works. So I didn't even have to change that. I'm also laying down this little plaid rug. I might be moving this outside to layer into my welcome mat, but for now, I like it right at the front door. I'm also tying on some extra bows again just to tie together the whole bow theme throughout the entire house and switching out some of these decorative pieces so it's easy to style multiple things if you have a little tray i thrifted this tray and i'm just styling it with a little christmas tree these little berries again to tie in the berries around the home and again one of these large light up ornaments This entryway is kind of a pass-through area from the living room to the family room. So let's head back into the family room to finish off all the decorating in there. On the TV stand here, I'm styling some extra little pieces, a little tiny Christmas tree to add in that flocked look in this room as well, as well as some existing decor. I'm also using a cookbook stand to open up a page of a Christmas book. This is such an easy way to decorate, even if it is just a little cookbook, but see how easy it is to decorate your home when you're finding decorative pieces that match your existing decor. You don't have to take as much down. You can just work with what you have and add to it. So I'm also adding to this little DIY bar that I made in here, bringing in this little A-frame cabin, some little decorative candles, and this flocked piece. And the last little finishing touch is the Christmas toilet paper. I know this is a little extra, but I just thought it'd be so fun to add to the powder room. This is the bathroom that all the guests use, so I just thought it'd be fun to decorate the toilet paper as well. Anyways, let's check out the entire house and see what it looks like decorated for Christmas at night.
All right, so that's it for today's Christmas decorating. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope this gave you some ideas that you can start implementing into your holiday decor this year. Let me know down below in the comments what your Christmas color palette is and what your favorite part about Christmas decorating is. Is it your Christmas tree? Is it your mantle? Is it your staircase? Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite part is. And again, thank you so much to Brooklyn for sponsoring today's video. You need to take advantage of their biggest sale of the year right now, their Black Friday sale. Everything is 25% off up until the end of the month. You guys can click the link down below my description box and the discount will automatically be applied at checkout. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much. Happy holidays and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.